Hello friends, let us now learn about the next like the next uh, glycogen storage disease which is type 7 glycogen storage disease. The type 7 glycogen storage disease is called as Torres disease. Okay, this Torres disease here, this is also occurs due to the defect in the muscle phosphofructokinase deficiency results in this Torres disease. Torres disease. Actually, this phosphofructokinase isoform is present in, see, phosphofructokinase has mainly three isoforms. That is M, L and P. M is present in muscles. L is phosphofractokinase in liver and P is the phosphofractokinase which is present in platelets. So M is present mainly in skeletal muscles. L and M form can be present in RPC. Okay. When there is defect in this M form, only then you will see the occurrence of Torres disease. Okay. This Torres disease mainly occurs if there is defect in this M form only then you will see the occurrence of Torres disease. Okay, here also because the defect is in muscles even here you will see occurrence of muscle symptoms like you will see exercise intolerance and you see pain aggravated by muscle exercise and obviously because uh, here there will be Abnormal accumulation of polysaccharide or abnormal glycogen is accumulated in the muscle fibers is seen in these patients. Here, for diagnosis, you will have to either demonstrate this muscle, okay, you will have to either demon sorry, demonstrate this enzyme phosphofractokinase deficiency in the muscle or you should either demonstrate this absence of m -iso enzyme in RPC. There is no specific treatment available for this Tauris, Tauris disease. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Sorry, one more important thing. This is TA. T-A-R-U-I. This is T-A-R-U-I. Yeah, this is Tauris disease. Thank you guys for watching my lecture. Thank you.